large asteroid Florence to pass by Earth on September 1st. For those of you who enjoy looking up at the sky above, you may see something out of the ordinary passing overhead in just a few days. An asteroid, roughly three miles wide, will drift past our planet a few moon lengths away, and it's going to be closer to us than we're used to seeing. Asteroid Florence, named after the founder of modern nursing, Florence Nightingale, is believed to be at least 2.7 miles in diameter. Hurtling through space 4.4 million miles away, more than 18 Earth-Moon distances, Florence is the largest asteroid to pass this close since the first near-Earth asteroid was detected over a century ago. The last time this particular asteroid was this close was back in 1890, and following September 1st, it won't be this close again until after the year 2500. As it glides by, Florence will move through the constellations Pisces Austrinus, Capricornus, Aquarius, and Delphinus visible even by small telescopes. Florence's trip past the Earth offers scientists a chance to study it up close. This asteroid is less than half the size of the one that wiped out the dinosaurs and poses no apparent threat to life on Earth. So much to explore, so little time. Are there aliens on Titan? New research suggests that Saturn's moon Titan may contain the key elements of life. Using data from NASA's Cassini satellite, one study found that Titan's upper atmosphere is home to carbon chain anions. These serve as a stepping stone to more labyrinthine molecules that can develop life. Separately, another study found vinyl cyanide in Titan's atmosphere. Scientists speculate that this forms the outer wall of a cell and protects the biochemistry that takes place within. Titan's atmosphere is one of the most complex observed by astronomers, and these studies further bolster the idea the moon may be home to organic life. Other things NASA will be looking at during the Great American Eclipse. NASA is sending jets to get a closer look at the eclipse when it takes place later this month. Two NASA planes will fly from St. Louis to Nashville during the solar eclipse in the U.S. on August 21st. The high-altitude planes will be equipped with equipment to carry out special research on the sun. According to NASA, they'll use high-speed cameras in an attempt to photograph nano flares and their impact on the sun's corona. The space agency says they'll also take the opportunity to create a thermal map of the planet Mercury. NASA says the mission during the eclipse could provide some of the clearest images of the sun's outer atmosphere so far. NASA finds star system with seven Earth-like planets. NASA this week unveiled a major discovery of a star system that contains seven planets similar to Earth. What's exciting is that three of them might just be habitable enough to support extraterrestrial life. Using the Spitzer Space Telescope and Earth-based telescopes, NASA scientists have found a star system called TRAPPIST-1, located 40 light-years from Earth. The ultra-compact system contains seven Earth-like planets, with surface temperatures low enough to support water. Three of these planets are believed to be in the habitable zone, close to the system's ultra-cool dwarf star. These planets take six, nine, and 12 days, respectively, to orbit the dwarf star. Scientists believe their Earth-like planetary compositions may not only support water, but maybe even life. NASA calculations reckon that all the newly discovered planets have a rocky surface, but the space agency says more investigation is needed to determine if any of them contain water. In 2018, NASA will launch the James Webb Space Telescope and will use this for further research into the TRAPPIST-1 system. This telescope can reportedly pinpoint water, methane, oxygen, ozone, and other elements of a planet's atmosphere. The TRAPPIST-1 system is located 235 trillion miles from our solar system, which means if you wanted to catch a flight there, the journey would take about 44 million years. So, still faster than a Spirit Airlines flight. NASA may have found a way to bring water back to Mars. NASA's scientists think it's possible to restore Mars' oceans by creating an artificial magnetic field that sits in front of the planet. Scientists say it is possible to place an inflatable structure that generates a magnetic dipole field at the Mars L1 Lagrange point. This would form an artificial magnetic shield to protect the planet from solar wind and radiation. Under this protection, the Martian atmosphere could become thick enough to melt carbon dioxide ice at the northern pole. In time, the atmosphere could spark a greenhouse gas effect that could restore some of Mars' oceans. Scientists said if the Martian atmosphere could be greatly enhanced over the next few decades, it would help pave the way for colonization on Mars.